Bruce Holly here. Uh, today we're going to be doing deviled eggs. And um, I love deviled eggs. I think a lot of people do. But um, I always had a problem with peeling the stupid things. But anyways, I finally found a fail-safe method to fix the deviled eggs, fill them up, or they're perfect. And uh, I've done this method like three or four times now, and it worked every time. So I'm excited to show you guys. Anyways, here we go. Basic, simple, traditional deviled eggs. All right, so the... Um, the big reason why the eggs are easy to peel after you've boiled them is um, baking soda. It's just regular old standard baking soda. And I'm going to do two heaping spoonfuls of this baking soda powder in this water here. Got one. And uh, you just want to kind of Stir that around, dissolve it into the water. This is hot water, up, by the way. I just ran hot water out of the tap. And, uh, we'll go ahead and crank on the heat and get this thing boiling. Um, that is the other thing that with this method, I know it sounds really weird, but we're gonna get the water boiling, full rolling boil. And we're going to take the eggs directly out of the refrigerator and put them in this pot in the boiling water. All right, so as you can see, we got a full rolling boil going. I, took, I just took these eggs directly out of the refrigerator. So I'm going to do eight eggs, so that should make 16 deviled eggs, halves. So I'll just put them in a little spoon like this, just gently place them in the water. And now, we're going to set a timer for 15 minutes. Alright, so as you can see, our timer is almost done here. So we're going to go ahead and I'm gonna turn that off. And, uh, got a, a bowl here, plastic bowl. I'm just going to dip these things out and throw them in this bowl. And then we're going to put cold tap water on top of them to stop the cooking process. Be careful, there's a lot of steam coming out of there. So like I said, we're just gonna run cold tap water on them. I'm gonna fill this bowl up pretty full, and then I'm gonna wait probably about, I don't know, five or 10 minutes, and I'm gonna dump that water out and uh, fill it up with cold water again. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna, water feels pretty cool. That's a good thing. Fill it back up with cold tap water. After I get it filled up with cold tap water again, I will wait another 10 minutes and it will be ready to peel. Alright, so it's been 10 more minutes, so a total of 20 minutes in cold water. No ice or anything, I just did cold tap water. out all right and now the moment of truth so kind of be gentle when you crack them just slam them down they, uh, you can break the whites in there if you're a little too rough with them I've noticed so I just crack them all the way around like that and then I try to kind of push the shell off but you can see how easy it's going to come off. I mean it's ridiculous. When I <laughs> discovered this method I was like really? Because uh, I love deviled eggs but every time I made them the peels would get stuck and 
it would chunk the outside of the egg and it was just super annoying. Look at that. How cool is that? Perfect. Perfect eggs. After I get all these peeled, I'm going to rinse them off. Just make sure there's no shells on anything. And uh, then we can split them in half and get the yolks out. I'll show you that step here in just a little bit. Alright, so next step we're going to cut these in half. I've got a smooth blade knife. Just take it and cut it right down the in the middle there. We'll dump the yolk out in this bowl. I've got a dish over here to put my egg white halves in. Just like that. They come out pretty easy. So all you gotta do is just kinda loosen them up, kinda flop them out with your thumb. Get any excess out of there. Doesn't have to be perfect. So you can see the yolks are all nice and done is what you want you definitely you don't want the yolks anything but well done for this because it makes them kind of gel almost and it's not then the the stuff that you have to mix in them to make the creamy feeling is it it doesn't have the same consistency so make sure you leave them in the rolling boil for the 15 minutes So we're going to start off by using some mayonnaise and the amount you're going to need to use is going to depend on how big your egg yolks are so just don't put too much you can always add you can't take it away and next we're going to use some plain greek yogurt you can also use sour cream for this step if you'd like but this just makes them a little creamier i've found in my experience and I'm going to use about half as much Greek yogurt as mayo. For the next ingredient, we'll use some regular yellow mustard. And I only use about a teaspoon or so of this. It doesn't take much. It goes a long way. And now we'll salt and pepper to taste. Now we'll start mixing everything up and what I kind of do is I kind of smash the egg yolks against the bottom of the bowl. Um, the more you smash the yolks it's easier to incorporate the ingredients and so you just want to try to make it as smooth as possible. After you've got your mixture smooth Go ahead and start putting it back into your cooked egg whites. And after you've got them in the egg whites, I like to just sprinkle a little bit of paprika on top of them. You can also use some smoked paprika if you'd like to kick it up a notch. Alright, time to give these things a taste. Check it out. Not bad, huh? Pretty. Mmm. 
I mean... <laughs> Deviled eggs are awesome. They're delicious. They're kind of sweet, savory. Give it a try. You'll really, really love it. Alright everybody. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you like this one. You should really give it a try. It's, it, they're delicious. Uh, if you like deviled eggs, you'll love this one. Uh, if you like the video, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, and uh, if you don't mind, hit the subscribe button. It really does help me out. And uh, Check out some of my other videos that we got. Hopefully I get some more content coming for you soon. And uh, I missed you guys. So, if y'all come back now, you're here.